Welcome to our CAMX support video on line crossing. Now, this is where an object crosses over sort of an imaginary line on your camera image going from maybe left to right and you're looking for it to break a plane. Let's go and see how that's set up. I want to click the gear icon and make sure that the objects or object that I'm looking for is listed in my detectable objects here under alerts. And yes, I'm looking for all vehicles, so I do have bus, car, pickup truck, and truck. I'm gonna click the wrench icon for the camera that I'm gonna set this up for. I'm gonna click alert ratings. I'm gonna do a new rating. Notice by default it has a thumbs down. That means that you're setting up something where you don't want to see something. In this case, I do want to see something and I wanna see a line cross. Under add object, I do have a drop down list and as long as those objects are on my default hub settings list, I can choose them. But in this case, I'm just going to do the easy way out and say all vehicles and click OK. Now I'm going to create the line that we need to cross. There it is. Now by default, it goes from the right hand side to the left as soon as you create one, though you can double click, see it change direction. That's going to be objects that are on the left hand side going to the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and put it back because I want it to go from right to left. So this forklift, if it now breaks the plane of that red line, I will get an alert. We have the ability here to put some information in about this sometimes when you're creating alerts. Um, maybe you don't even remember why you did it. You'd want to go in and put some notes or a description as to what this is for. Um, we also have other alert ratings where you can specify whether an object is entering a scene or coming out of a scene. Um, by scene, I mean your, your camera view image. Is it entering or leaving? But this is uh, how to do line crossing. At the end, you're going to want to hit OK. Then you're going to want to hit Save. And that's it.